Reparations for white people. I've heard it all. Oh my goodness. So there is this clown named Bernie Moreno and he's running for a Senate seat in Ohio. Go figure. Now there is this video that has gone viral where it's him on stage talking to a group of white ignorant. And you know, they're, he's given his, you know, his typical, you know, placating and, and bull crap of, you know, talking about the founding fathers and how this is a great country. We came from the founding fathers. Then it made me think of what were the people that came before us. And we stand on the shoulders of giants, don't we? And that white people, I kid you not, this is what he says. He says that white people uh, fought to free black people. That same group of people later, white people died to free black people. I don't know what to tell you on this one because <laughs> it's, it's, it's an earmark of such strong fragility that at what point do you just, do you just give up? Huh? At what point do you just throw your hands, right? If someone is willing to bang their head against a wall, how many times do you tell them, hey, stop doing that? It's not going to help. Because that's how it feels to black Americans when it comes to this bastardizing of history. They so badly can't handle the truth of what happened, the truth and the history of this country, that they create these far fantasies, these stories of what they believe history was. And it's so night and day from the facts of the matter. Listen, if they would just acknowledge, hey, this wasn't you know, the best country, the people who found it weren't the best people, the history of this country very much has an anti-black roots in it from the founding, from the start, and every day we're working uh, to, better, to you know, better the country, to better this and to eradicate the anti-black racism in this country. They, if they would just simply say that, then it wouldn't be a problem. But what they want to do, because, what they, because they're so focused on denying the facts, that they had to, 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 to whitewash him. Because he goes on to amplify this drivel by saying, hey, where are the reparations for, for white people? Where are the reparations for the Union soldiers who died in the Civil War? You know, they talk about reparations. Where are the reparations for the people from the North who died to save the lives of black people? And I know it's not politically correct to say that, but you know what, we gotta stop being politically correct. We gotta call it like it is. And I'm so sick and tired of these, these vapid talking points of, hey, you already got reparations. Reparations were the people who died in the Civil War, the thousands of white people who died in the Civil War. And I'm so sick and tired of this. Did they say this to, to Jewish people? Hey, you already got reparations for the soldiers who fought you know, to, to, to free you from Nazi Germany. Did they ever say that? No, of course not. And this is what it has to do with. It has to do with this anti-black racism. And I'm, you know, I'm gonna stop saying anti-black because we all, racism, they're synonymous. It's the same thing. Racism in this country has always been towards black people. That's where it's, that's where it's been, all right? There have been non-blacks and blacks. That's how, as far as the dominant society has divided the country from the jump. So I'm not saying anti-black racism because there is no such thing as anti-white racism. There is no such thing as anti-Asian racism. There is no such thing as any other racism in this country historically and even presently. Stop it. I don't know where this false notion came from that the Union soldiers or the Union army was so, so benevolent to black people. No, they weren't. All right. The Union soldiers were just as racist as the Confederate. Matter of fact, why are we acting like these white people of the Union soldiers, the Union Army, just, just volunteered to go to, to, to fight the Civil War? They didn't volunteer. There was a draft. In addition to the draft, there was a complete amount of riots and protests. The most, the biggest uh, protester was, was coming from the Irish. You know, the, the, the people that, you know, the white ignorants always want to say, well, they were slaves too. They were saying, stop it, okay? And the fact that you want to say that, you know, reparations for the people who died on, on the battlefield, do reparations for them, then black people, black Americans are doubly uh, uh, dude reparations. If you want to make that argument, well, guess who also died? On, this, on the battlefield for this country. Guess who blood was also sealed? Black Americans. And we have fought in every single war this country has had. Every single one. 
any way you any way you go about it, there is a payment that is owed. It is as simple as that. This concept of the Union soldiers is wild. It's absolutely wild. We can bring up the devil's punch bowl. We can bring up the discrimination that happened within the Union Army. They're giving them trash equipment, the Medicare that they gave to the black soldiers as opposed to the white soldiers, night and day. Miss me with this bastardized history. Miss me with this history of trying to make white ignorance feel good. As a matter of fact, the black Union soldiers was fighting two wars at the same time. They were fighting the racism of the, the, the white ignorance of the Confederate and the racism of the white ignorance of the Union. This nothing has changed in that regard. It's the same thing. We're fighting the racism of the white ignorance of the Republicans and the racism of the white ignorance of the Democrats. Nothing has changed. We are still going through the same, same issues, the same talking points they keep on bringing up. Aren't you sick and tired of hearing they, them bring out their, their, their stool pigeon, their black stool pigeon, every single black history month, every single time. There's always some buffoon, some Sambo talking about, we don't need black history month. Why do we even have black history month? Why not white history month? Why not that? I'm so sick and tired. It's just a cycle. It's a cycle that never, never ends. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this fragility. They want to talk about responsibility. They can't even take responsibility. They can't even take responsibility for the history of this country. They, can, they, they forget responsibility. They can't even acknowledge it. They're so afraid of responsibility that they create these false stories. They create these false narratives and just promote it. And it's very much is, well, I'm white and I say so. And it's like, no, that's not how it went down. That's not what happened. You weren't just, you know, bestowing God's gift onto the American, you know, onto, onto the, the continent. You weren't helping the Africans. You weren't helping them. Stop it. What is, what is with this, this, this bastardizing of history? And then when it comes to reparations, it's not even about as far as the Civil War and all that. It's about everything that happened after the Civil War, okay? I find it humorous that the same people want to talk about, oh, we fought for to free black people. Oh, really? Explain black code to me. Explain as far as Jim Crow. Explain the housing, se uh, the housing segregation. Explain the, 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 as far as the, the, the redistricting. Explain everything that you did after that, since you went to help black people. Miss me with this nonsense, okay? It was fought for the union. That's what it was fought for. They didn't care anything about black people. Black people were never meant to be free in this country. I hope you understand this. They didn't, they, if you believe that these mofos, okay, were doing deals with Africa to bring, uh, uh, to bring prisoners over here to the country to free them, you're out of your mind. You're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. We were brought over here for labor. That's what this was about. This was about money. This was about profiteering off of someone's labor. It gets even worse than that because there was a dehumanization factor, okay? There was chattel slavery where you're, you're, there was no freedom. Your lineage was that of a slave. Your child's child, your child's child, and after that, okay? So I, I don't wanna hear this nonsense. So even the concept of slavery is, is drastically different from what we knew it at the time. Slave, right, especially when it came to Africa, those were just usually uh, uh, tribes that had lost in war, right? Prisoners of war, POWs. They were like, hey, you take them, they lost, right? They're an enemy tribe or whatever, fine. They weren't treated in any way, shape, or form when they, as far as uh, uh, how, how we were treated in this country, in the United States of America. And the fact that he tried to say that, hey, we're the only group of people that actually fought, you know, to do this. That's not a win, my guy. <laughs> That's how, oh, leave it to a white ignorant to try and frame war as a positive. And the war wasn't even for us. The war was for the union. Black Americans were used as leverage during this war. That's the only reason. Why are we acting like the unions willingly accepted black people into the army? No, they, they wouldn't willingly accept them. There was an inferiority complex with many of the white union soldiers because they were forced to bring in the black union soldiers in order to win the war. That's the only reason they brought black people in here. Because they were about to lose. They were losing. That's correct. That's the only reason why. And then any little thing that they try to do in order to benefit black Americans, whether it's for affirmative action or anything like that, they try to, 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 to skew it, right? 
They try and corrupt it and pervert it to the point where something that was made for black Americans, right, they now use for everyone else. Firm of action. Who benefits from it? White women. Asian women. Why? Because they included minorities in it. The same thing with the freaking evil, the wolf, okay, the wolf and what, what did Malcolm X uh, say, call them? I forgot. The wolf and the, I don't know, the dragon. I, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what it was. The wolf and the sheep or something. I forgot the, 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 the analogy he used. But that's what it is. The demon and the demon. That's pretty much at the end of the day. That's what they are, right? Affirmative action. Can you imagine that? This country was affirmative action for white people. Every single law they had in place, whether it's the Homestead Act, the Naturalization Act, where they were like, hey, this is a white country, don't import any black people in here. Everything that ever, if you know the history of this country and to have white ignorance talk about affirmative action, miss me with this nonsense. Miss me with it, okay? When it comes to, 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 to the welfare system, Social Security, for white ignorance. Hell, you can even go over the GI Bill when it comes to discrimination. There is a litany of anti-black discrimination in this country, which was by its name, for the most part, one, one name or another, okay, a distinction without a difference, was very much affirmative action for white people. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, look, 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 it has nothing to do with that, okay? What, what the matter is, the truth of it is that, hey, they died for the black people. That's what happened, all right? They died, that's that's your reparations. Or if you don't believe, I find it so, so humorous, right? That the same people want to talk about patriots, oh, I'm a patriot and this and this and love the country, don't know anything about the country. <laughs> the same people who love the country don't know anything of the history of the country. They live in a fairy tale land. Crazy, bruh. Anyways, if you happen to disagree with this video, well, you're in luck because today is disagreement day. Disagreement day is typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. Call in and duke it out. You won't because you're probably a coward. Nevertheless, if you enjoyed the video, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. All oh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. We were brought over here for labor.